you have Jacob in the home, and you have John in the home. And we know something happens in that house where Jacob ends up sustaining some injuries and he ends up dying from those injuries. So when we're looking at it from a legal perspective, there's a big difference between neglecting the child and you causing those injuries deliberately and then resulting in his death. And that's, I think, one of the wrinkles in this case that the DA and the AG, they might believe a certain thing, but how do they prove that what happened in that home when those two were there was deliberate and was intentional? And I do think that when we're talking about previous history, as far as previous abuse, that's what they have to hang their hat on. That's why it's so important to talk to like the neighbor to see if there's any indications or, and to talk to his children too, Mm -hmm. to see if you can start his ex-wife, maybe right, his ex-wife, because you have to basically show a history of this man being abusive to both children and, you know, uh, women or whatever it might be. Then you can start to paint a picture for a jury because that is going to be the biggest hurdle here is what happened in that home. 